Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to go in a little more detail about my DNS server. It's a Dell PowerEdge R610, and it's for now only runs on 84 watts, as y'all can see right there. Oops, sorry. And that's because I only have the super node right there plugged in and all it is powering is the network and I've actually been using it every day uh, the Linksys you know that one right there that network is what it's connected to it's been connected to either the Linksys or the Netgear I've had the Linksys one plugged in for about a month or two, and it works flawlessly. You know, you should test your own shit out before you dump it onto the public, otherwise you're just a fucking asshole. But as you can see, this is the DNS traffic. I've I was actually watching Netflix. A show called The Good Times or Good Times. There's no the in it, but what it does is it just caches and does recursion. Now, what DNS caching is, it's pretty much just saves a little piece of the website onto you know the drives, so it's easier to access next time you or somebody else on the network wants to visit a site you know say youtube.com you know if it's the first time visiting it it's gonna be a little slow it takes some time but the more you visit it you know and the more it's gonna cache and the easier and quicker it will be for others to access it now what DNS recursion is, it's literally, you know, the DNS version of you asking your friend uh, about the time or the weather. It just asks for the resources that aren't cached on here or, you know, whatever. And it, it's just great. It works perfectly. I you know, thought it was all bullshit when I was doing my research, but it's fantastic. Now, I'm going to set up a another temporary DNS server on the Raspberry Pi, you know, so stay tuned for that, but for now, I'm going to show you what else this thing could do. Now, let's say you have, like, Q-Link or whatever, um, you visit like Pornhub you can't because they have it blocked this is kinda why you can't access it you know because of the DNS server they have it blocked on the DNS side sorry if my screens a little dirty it's just I don't have any wipes you know uh, lens wipes or whatever but you know, I hate TikTok so much I just blocked it. And I haven't received TikTok traffic on my ISP network ever since. Which is kinda of strange because I never visited it in the first place, so you tell me what that means. Now um uh, yeah, these zones right here. Now I have this root zone set up, so you know it it does it's like a DNS root server, but locally, so it just you know does what a regular root DNS server does, but here on my own shit, you know, just at home and see all the this is the caching part of it there's the NS you know um 
it's not a link, it's just one of the many um, DNS protocols, I think it's called, or domain name protocols. But you'll see here, let's go to a .gov. And you could see that you know, it shows this. It shows uh, the name server that it connected to, so you know this dot you know ns.gov server is you know, that's the IP address to it. And here are all the links that I have visited. So since I live in Nevada, you know, click that. And where the fuck is the URL? No, oh, well, I guess the URLs just stay there, and then there it is. But anyways, uh. You know, it's, see all the URLs that are visited. So, you know, find Amazon. And there's Amazon.com. So, that's what caching is. It just literally saves little snippets. And it organizes it very nicely, if you ask me, in, you know, with their, their uh, top-level domains. That's what the dot-coms are and shit. Just organize it beautifully. at that. Let's find Netflix since I'm watching it. Oh, I went too far. And Jinx website, and there's Netflix. Huh. Netflix.com. And then boom, Netflix.com. The round trip is 14.94 milliseconds. That's actually pretty good compared to you know, the spectrum. What else do I want to show you? Um, let's see YouTube. It's gonna be pretty much at the bottom since it had you know starts with Y. And there it is. And you can see all the different, you know, the accounts.youtube.com. Yeah. Not studio.youtube.com. I mean, that's where we upload our videos and shit. And you can see that right there and it connected to name server which is what NS stands for it connected to name server 2.google.com at 1 or 216 so and that's uh Quite a bit for a round trip. That 
That's what a DNS server does when it, you know, the caching part at least, it just does that. Just captures everything that you visit from, you know, studio.youtube.com to everything, literally. Um, so that's it for today. Like and subscribe for more. That is it.